My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Skyrim. This is Hill. And we are here in the Soul Cairn as we work our way through the Dawnguard DLC. And uh, this is Serana hiding behind me. I guess she must be feeling shy. Uh, probably from some of the uh, armor pieces that she's wearing because my uh, encumbrance level is, uh, you know, gone over its limit. So anyhow. We've just completed Jib's opus. We collected all ten of his pages. I had a mod that places markers uh, in the soul can so I can find the pages. I don't know how anybody would do this, you know, without that mod. I'm telling you, modders, thank you so much for what you do. I really appreciate it. Um, we have a couple of things to accomplish here before we head back to Tamriel. One of them is Arvax's skull. We need to return it. This marker that I have here hopefully is pointing me in that direction. So, before we go though, let us transform. I haven't been in my vampire lord form. Since my initial transformation, it's time that I stretch my wings. Ah, look. This is the guy already. I don't know. Can we interact? Arvac. We can. You saved him. His soul is free. I can feel it. He's such a loyal beast. Here. I'll teach you how to call him to you. He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace. Goodbye, hero. <laughs> Take good care of Arvac for me. Such a good horse. Yes, whatever you say. All right, so we've completed that mission. And... I believe... Oh, well, the other thing we're going to do is the um, the Reaper fragments. Collect all three of those. All right. Let me try to get my bearings as to where these uh, soul Reaper fragments are located. All right. Here we go. So we were just over here in this area. Serana's just now getting here. Just over here in this area where allegedly this uh, fragment is. Let's try this again. Maybe I have. To, let me look at my inventory. What do we have here? It seems like. Oh, oh, I can't look at my inventory, can I? Seems like we might have gotten this one. But 
there are enemies here somewhere. And I don't see how I got up to the top. So yeah, we've been up here. Oh, I can, oh, I can search this. I'm able to collect this stuff. And here we are, our first Reaper Gem Fragment. Alright, let's go. I thought you couldn't interact with uh, anything when you were in Vampire Lord form. I'm not sure if it's the mods that I've got, the better vampires, that allows me to. Okay. Alright, let's find our next destination. Okay, we need to head back to the castle so that we get our bearings. And that's the castle where Valerica lives. Alright, that's right here. And we're going down this way. I'm sure we definitely will lose Serana. Because for some reason she just can't keep up. Um, I especially, I mean, since I'm flying. Wow. You know, and I said in an earlier video that I really don't like this mission. I don't like being in the Soul Cairn. And I thought on it as to why. And it's because this is so confusing. I mean, Bethesda really doesn't Oh, look at she caught up explain much about you know what there is to do and you know their hidden secret missions and whatnot and you don't know about this stuff and you really don't know the significance of, of much of anything here like the the soul fishers and whatnot so I mean it's just uh very confusing to do this Oh, we're back. Uh, I think there might be a chest over here. There is. I'm just noticing my carry weight as a vampire lord looks like it's doubled or tripled. I might have to stay in this form. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's so difficult to, um, you know, carry stuff in this game. Yeah, we're just wandering around now because I think I've missed my target. Be, okay, there, there's the soul gem up in the air. So I think it's on this side. Yeah, here we go. Here 
Here we go. Now I need to be able to get inside. Because this, this, um, was already open. You know, the chest is in here. But I'm not sure where the other portal is. Look, there it is. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's not in here. Okay, well this this was a a misleading soul gem unless there's something up on that roof. I see a soul gem over here. Is this... Is this one of them? We've been in here. I've probably then been up on that roof. I actually need those kills to level up. You're not helping me. Ah, oh, wait. Here we go. This is probably going to be empty. Well, yeah, it's empty. See if we can find where another one of these gems is located. All right. There's a soul gem. And we got the Reaper gem fragment. Take the gold ring too. Okay, let's get out of here. 
before my life gets sucked away. Oh. You're not getting the best of me. Things are going down really quick. Yeah, this has to be the mod, because I, I don't think you're supposed to be able to interact and pick stuff up as a vampire lord. So this must be better vampires that allows you to do that. Cool! Alright, so... Let's see if we can locate the next Reaper gem. Alright, here is the door to get out of here. Who else? There we go. I think this is the third and final soul gem. All right, there's supposed to be a little teleporter thing here. And here we are. Everlasting fire, okay. There it is, the Dre the Reaper Gem Fragment. I want to take this stuff. I hope Serana's going to be around so I can give it to her. As long as I don't turn back, I should be okay carrying all this. Um... Hey, it stopped shooting at me. All right, so we have all our soul gems. And look at this, we're right back where we started at the beginning of this episode with Jib. Alright, let me get my bearings and then we will proceed 
to encounter the Reaper. Alright, Serana, let's see if we can find our way. Being a vampire lord certainly is an easy way to travel through the soul cairn. All right, so according to the instructions, this is the way out. You can see the stairs there in the background. We need to come down here and make a right. And head for that glowing tower. What was that? Oh, soul husk. Head for this glowing tower out here. Hello, oh, what's going on? I hear explosions. This is our destination. And here comes Serana. We certainly can use her help. So we'll try to do this as a vampire lord. Let's go on inside. So here we are, activate the Reaper Shard Receptacle. Okay, there it is. Oh man, we destroyed it that quickly? was supposed to be some kind of a boss. All right. Actually, well, let me search here. I'm, glad we found the scroll. I'm not sure which one of these piles of goo is the boss. I think I am going to have to revert. Serana. I'm glad we found the scroll, Ophelia. I wish you could come with us. Okay, so that's one pile of goo. Where was he standing? Ah, 
finally. Wow, I could not even see this. So this is all you get from this alleged boss fight. Three black soul gems and a Daedra heart. It was right there in the edge. All right, let's get out of here, Serana, and hopefully when we get out, I will be able to give you some of this stuff. Okay. Yes. So this did not work inside, but now now that we're out. Anything good? Do some trading. Hopefully you can handle this weight. All right, I should be able to move now and Looks like she can too. All right, well, that concludes our encounter with the Reaper fragments and the Reaper boss. And in our next episode, we will return to the land of the living.